also a popular restaurant downtown Fort Worth. Maybe you've been there. Looking for a new home tonight. Why owners of Riata say that they are saying so long to the square. Caught a lot of people by surprise. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Dunbar. Welcome to CBS 11 News at 5 o'clock. Destination Restaurant announcing today that they're going to vacate their spot on Houston Street in Sundance Square. That's where we're going to start. Jason Allen's been on this through the day. So Riata, big name, uh, but what we hear is that's a long list, and they joined this list of businesses that have left or maybe are thinking about leaving the area. Yeah, they're one of the bigger names, Doug, and one of the latest. And on this block, uh, Riata, it's, it's one of the few places, I'd say, that had the doors still open. If you spin around, you can see there's two places down there on the end of the street, and then one, two, three here right across the street from the restaurant. The restaurant president told me they'd actually prefer to stay here, but it wasn't their decision. The American West atmosphere and Texas ranch menu that kept Riata on the top restaurant list for locals and visitors might stay in Fort Worth, but it won't be in Sundance Square. You may be wondering why I've asked you here today. It's not to reminisce. Restaurant president Mike McAuliffe told a gathering of business owners and hospitality industry workers Wednesday that Riata is looking for a new location. He couldn't get a new lease from the management of Sundance Square. And he said management changes, especially increased parking fees, made it more difficult to do business. We do hear feedback from other businesses in downtown, what they've had to deal with. Um, you know, and, and obviously all that information helps us make our decision. Sundance has been in a transition with pre-pandemic businesses leaving and new management emphasizing art and non-traditional shops. It's led to heated disagreements over the direction of the area among downtown stakeholders. But newcomers like Carrie O'Keefe. I think I'm one of those changes. <laughs> who opened her own shop here for the first time, believe it has a chance to work. Something that makes Fort Worth unique and appealing and makes you want to come back and give it a second glance. Sundance said it wouldn't publicly discuss landlord tenant issues, but on its Instagram posted pictures of Riata's current building and referred to it as the Caravan of Dreams Club, the tenant in the 80s and 90s before Riata moved in. Riata does still have this space until June of 2024. Doug, they said they have made the announcement now so they have enough time to find a new location, build if they need to, and make the move. All right, Jason Allen, thank you very much.